Hi everyone, in this video I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to download the SVG files that I share from my website titbitsandtinkerings.com and how to upload those to Cricut Design Space to be cut. Okay, we are on my website here and this is the most recent file that I shared which was the family subway art. You will scroll down and the file is located down here above the share icons and the file will always be in pink text so you will go ahead and you will just click on that and it will bring up your save as dialog and from here you can choose to rename this file I'm just gonna leave it at the default and I'm going to save this to my desktop just to make this video a little bit easier so I will go ahead and click Save. Alright, and now we will go look at the desktop. And here is that zip file that I just downloaded. And I actually use a program called WinRAR for handling my zip files. So my right click menu is going to be a little bit different than yours. So you'll right click on this and I am pretty sure the default right click you will have an <clears throat> excuse me you'll have an option here that says extract all you'll click that since I use WinRAR I don't have that option so I am going to simulate if you were to just do a left click on this and open it in um, Windows Explorer and here I have the extract all option so you will click extract all and then you can browse and choose where you want to save this. I am just going to save straight to the desktop and you can either check this or uncheck to show your files after they've been extracted. I'm just going to leave it checked and then click extract. Alright, so same file showing here on this particular zip file. There's three files, so all three have been extracted and they are now here in a folder. So that's what we want. Now we will go to Cricut Design Space. All right, you are going to create a new project. And then over here on the left, you're gonna click Upload Images. And then you will click the Upload Image button here on the left. Then you'll click Browse. And this is going to bring up your file explorer to where you are going to navigate to wherever you extracted that zip file to. Since I extracted to the desktop, <coughs> excuse me, and then it went into this folder. And I'm just going to choose this version here, which is just the file cut into two separate parts. The V2 version is cut into four parts so that you can cut the word family in a separate color from the rest of the lettering. But we will go ahead and just do this one. And it's going to upload your file. And you'll have to excuse my internet speed right now. We just had a bad storm and it's kind of like slowed it way down. All right, so you'll get a preview after it's uploaded you can rename your file and you can tag your file down here and go ahead and click save and then since this is an SVG file you're not going to get an image here whether or not you want to save it as a print or a cut image it's just going to automatically save it as a cut image since it's an SVG and this is the one we just uploaded so if you wanted to use it right away you would just click it and you'll get your green check mark and then you'll click insert images and as with all SVG files they come in grouped so if you wanted to separate these two pieces you would go down here and click ungroup <coughs> and then as you can see you have your two separate pieces now which isn't going to make a difference with this particular file <coughs> and that is pretty much it that is how you download extract and 
upload SVG files into Cricut Design Space. Hope this helped and if you have any questions feel free to post them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer and help you out. Thanks!